Hey guys, Caller here, bringing you set 2 of Air Force Ace vs. We Made Fox. And I have to say, in game 1, Nada showed off some excellent Terran vs. Terran play, uh, anticipating that Boxer was going to be going for something unconventional, and Boxer did go for that double expand, which is quite unconventional, so Nada decided to go for a fast tech, um, and it worked out perfectly for him because he got the, the, the pretty much the best counter against Boxer's build. Uh, Boxer decided to use Vulture Mines to cover his double expansion, but Nada got his cloak rates out and just totally dominated the air for about three minutes over Boxer's airspace and just destroyed his STV line. And from then on, it was just pretty much downhill. So we made Fox's entering game two with a 1-0 lead. And Air Force Ace is actually fielding Mew Myung in this game, an uh, older Zerg player who uh, I've only seen one game from, and that was uh, the last series that Ace played. Uh, where he was a 2v2 player, and I don't think it was that spectacular, so it's interesting to see uh, Ace fielding him in game 2 here in the 1v1 position. He is playing against Pure, a Protoss player on Wii Made, and both have interesting, uh, similar statistics. Uh, Miu Myung is 49% against Protoss, and Pure is 44% against Zerg. This map, though, is Katrina. We have Miu Myung spawning in blue at the 12 o'clock position, and I believe Pure is spawning in teal at the 3 o'clock position. And Katrina is definitely statistically imbalanced towards Protoss in the PvZ lineup. Uh, there's actually a 2 to 1 win ratio between Protoss and Zerg in this lineup. I'm guessing the main reason is because of the uh, natural expansion, the protected natural expansion, which is just so easy to hold for the Protoss player. They don't even have to go for the Bizu build um, where they go for Forge first in order to hold the natural expansion. They can just get two gateways even and uh, wall in completely at the front door with the help of that neutral building and they just be perfectly safe and pick up the natural expansion. Whereas Zerg really has to work hard to deal with this uh, two base Protoss player very early on, and the two base Protoss player, of course, is able to pump Corsairs plus uh, their additional tech unit that they want, whether it be Dark Templar or um, or Reavers, and just uh, really put the hurt on the Zerg in the mid game. So it'll be up to Miu Myung to see if he can pull off something uh, creative, uh, or, or perhaps just have a really good macro game to be able to deal with uh, deal with Pure's play here. And I have to say, um, I am a big fan of Air Force Ace. Uh, it seems like I've just done so many series of them. I looked at my playlist last night, and I think I've done like six series of them this year so far. It looks like actually Miu Myung's uh, gone for, I believe, a 10 pool there, or perhaps an 11 pool. So going for responding pool first, that definitely an irregular build, but it looks like uh, Pure, unfortunately for Miu Myung, has scouted uh, him first, actually. He went to the first little scouting location, and he's definitely going to know what's going on here. So I think he's going to be pretty well prepared for any kind of Zergling rush that can come on here. The one advantage just gives uh, this gives Miu Myung is it, it might force uh, it might force uh, Pure to go forge first. It looks like yeah, Pure is going to go forge first here and uh, force him to build at least one cannon, if not two cannons, at his front door. And of course, uh, Miu Myung is not going to take uh, the best economic route here. It looks like he's bringing a drone out to scout. Also, interestingly enough. So, it'll be interesting to see if he decides to build anything with the drone. I think that would be a little bit crazy. But looks like he might actually be building a hatchery here. So, Miu Myung going for a hatchery at his uh, an outside position here. So, really interesting. Miu Myung has decided to go for a double expand here, of course. That is the uh, sort of the the tech that he's going to go for. And this is actually quite a good response here uh, against the fast expand. Forge first fast expand from the Protoss is to go for a double expand. <laughs> it looks like that's a Zealot killing a Hydralisk there. It's pretty hilarious. Um... And it looks like uh, the probe doing a good job of harassing this drone. I'm pretty sure that Pure has uh, knows what's going on. That uh, Miu Myung's second expansion here is late uh, at his natural expand. But if Pure isn't completely on top of his game, he might not know what's going on. He might not know that uh, Miu Myung has gone for a double expand. And he might just think this is somehow a slower expansion. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure he has known this by now. And it looks like a gateway and a uh, one cannon going off in the front here. And it looks like uh, the gas should be going up here pretty soon for for Pure. And the reason why I'm such a big... Sorry there, breaking the audio. Uh, my bad. Um, it looks like the gas is actually being set up at the natural expansion for Pure. And that is because it's uh, easier to mine there on Katrina than at your main base, which requires four workers instead of uh, the normal three. But it looks like uh, actually Miu Myung's decided to go for the standard um, position of his extractor at his main. And uh, I have to say, yeah, Miu Myung's uh, reaction was quite good there. Going for his uh, outside expansion first, actually, perhaps just to get some creep up there in case uh, there was some kind of fast zealot rush. You can plant a creep colony down and, and make it into sunken and just get a little bit of defense. Looks like, though, uh, this will be easily scouted by Pure, and Pure has scouted this position, so he is going to know what's going on here. 
and it looks like uh, Miu Myung has now spotted the Cyber Next Core going up. This is a very standard play here from Pure, and I'm going to assume, uh, not knowing any more information, that he is going to be going for Corsairs first. So this is my uh, once a series reminder for you guys to check out sc2gg.com. Uh, of course, it is an excellent site for all matters of StarCraft, professional and uh, foreign actually. And uh, there's just so many commentaries coming up, new commentaries coming up all the time. Um, and all, all sorts of, uh, basically the MSL and OSL are completely covered and the Pro League is almost completely covered right now. And if you're interested, uh, really just join the commentating team or join the writing team. Um, it's not very hard to be a commentator. I'm proof of that. <laughs> I mean, I started off two months ago, and uh, you know, I think it's it's been really fun. And before that, I've never done any sort of commentating of any sort. Um, so yeah, looks like Pure actually doing a harass here with his probe, and the probe is still alive inside of Miu Miu's base. And it looks like the Zealot somehow manages to get into Miu Miu's base also, and I don't think he actually has any... Oh man, the Zealot's actually killed off uh, one drone so far, and it looks like he might get a second drone here. Uh, if he gets one more, he is going to get a second drone, so poor control from Miu Miu here. I have to say, really poor control. Uh, wow, letting the zealot slip through, letting the probe stay alive inside his base. It looks like another zealot's gone in, and he's uh, stopping the mining at the second expansion of Miu Miu. Miu Miu just a little too confident that um, that uh, his his Protoss opponent Pure wouldn't move out at all. And uh, <laughs> Pure has just done so much damage with his early zealot. He's already got two two drones, so already making up the cost in terms of uh, the zealot's price, of course. And also, uh, just wow, stopping mining for so long here. And it looks like he's gonna pick off a third drone before going down here. And meanwhile, the probe's also doing more harassment. It looks like um, the one <laughs> the one zealot, uh, another zealot there, just just harassing here. And it looks like uh, Corsair killing off uh, an overlord there. Uh, Miu Miu's gone for his Hydro stem, but I don't see any Hydro out just yet. So good job by Pure doing harassment so far in this game and uh, looks like finally he's regained control over his outside expansion but really that was not necessary if he had gotten just a couple more lings the first zealot would not have gone through but looks like he's actually <laughs> overcompensating here or perhaps compensating by building a lot of speed lings here he might be going for a cannon break here so he's got maybe uh, a half a dozen and a half zerglings here but looks like the positioning is just too good there from uh, from pure, he positioned the zealot, and there's no way through for those zerglings. They have to attack the zealot head on, and uh, they would just get massacred uh, by the cannons behind them. So, unfortunately, like I said, it is easy for for.